happy Monday. So training day is gonna be more of a vlog style from here on out. I'm gonna be cultivating ideas and trying to put things together, but we'll get there. I'm just gonna take my time. So sit back, enjoy. I hope you're having a great day and we're just gonna keep it moving. I got the workout this morning. Um, I'm gonna move to another clip that I made um, to go with this video. And then uh, we'll be back most likely after the workout. I, do, I will have a voiceover over the workout. I don't know how I'm gonna do the uh, progression of the workout today. We'll see, it depends on how I feel like filming, but uh, hope you're having a great day and stay tuned. How's it going? So the workout that you will see, um, I'm probably mainly gonna focus on the areas that I'm really struggling with. So um, with this workout, it'll be the front squat. I may include the hip thrust, um, a little bit of the footage of uh, my shoulder press um, motion that I'm doing to help bring my shoulders along, um, pausing shoulder movements. But we'll see. But um, I will do the voiceover so I can talk about, you know, like the progression of the workout and everything like that that I'll be uh, working on um, and everything that I'm specifically working on at that at that moment in time. But um, right now, what I'm mainly focus focusing on um, more than anything is with the hamstrings popping up off the ground paused hamstring motions the majority of my hamstring majority of my motions especially with lower body are going to be paused um from here on out at least for a while because i'm going to be working it working on like you know full-on explosive energy and the way that you get that is having the pause rep so on the front squat i'll be pausing at the bottom for at least one maybe two seconds on my hip thrust i'll go down i'll pause for at least a second and um, you know, I'm just gonna take it one day at a time. Um, I have had to decrease the weight quite a bit um, in order to do this stuff effectively because of my back injury, but I'm fine with that. Um, I, I've also lowered my volume throughout the week, which has allowed me to put more um, time into um, walking, which does translate in these movements because of the fact that if I continue to walk and stay in my deficit, my overall weight will decrease, which means that when I squat, hip thrust, front squat, any of those motions, deadlift, I will be lifting less body weight, which hopefully will translate to the bar. So body weight goes down, muscle strength continues to stay the same or grow a little bit but the weight on the bar goes up because the weight that i'm losing is being you know transitioned to the bar at least that's what i'm hoping will will happen over time i probably won't start going heavy again um for maybe six six to eight weeks we'll see um i may start just doing maybe like a one rep max kind of thing once a month but once again we'll see it depends on how i feel when i'm fighting you know in fighting this back injury i have to listen to my body and things change day to day because with this injury i could feel like total crap one day or i could feel not gonna say great but i could feel like you know i can hold things together you know another day so check out the footage i hope you like it and i'll do as much as i can in the voiceovers to kind of explain everything and go through like the processes that i am uh um partaking in at this point in time all right i was just trying to do my best to get through these my uh right ankle is actually killing me right there and uh you know this right here this is the cornerstone of what we do the hanging um crunch these those are just man they're 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 difficult so um you gotta hit those shoulder raises if you want that shoulder capness we just started adding in the leg swings here just recently to loosen up the hips because we're trying to go lower and hold our squat movements which is what you'll see when we get to the squat movements here so we're go i'm going down all the way and trying to hold a one second hold on the bottom here 
this was pretty tough on my back today. That's why even at this lower weight, I'm uh, wearing the weight vest, or not the weight vest, excuse me, the um, lever belt. But, um, I mean, this looks clean, but it's a very low weight. Um, I've been off and on with the hip thrust, but I'm trying to get back into the um, flow of doing them uh, weekly. Since the volume's changing, we won't um, be missing as many workouts involving those. And this is a new one we just got recently too. And I'm enjoying these for uh, like glute and lower back um, strengthening, um, especially for my lower back injury. This this is more of a therapeutic movement. Um, I've lost a lot of glute development and I'm trying to get it back over time. Um, my glutes and lower back are very weak, so. Yeah, my day is going great. I hope you guys um, enjoyed the workout footage. Um, I'm really just trying to do my best to pour, I mean, as much as I can in these workouts to fix my form right now, because the form is really behind the curve. But, you know, all you can do is just work on it one day at a time. You know, I do think I'm doing the right thing by, you know, cutting the weight back, you know, is it putting the, um, you know, maximum, you know, I like pressure on my body or anything like that? No, but, you know, especially on like those front squats, I was really, you know, struggling with that movement last week. And, you know, I don't want to round my back as much. I'm trying out a new grip and I'm having a problem setting that weight on my chest and so you know little things like that you want to fix especially when you have existing injuries that you don't want to aggravate you know and so you know yeah it's great to go heavy and different things like that but at the end of the day you know form is what's most important so I'm just you know I'm I'm I'm, I'm really focusing the rest of this year on fixing my form I do think that's what's gonna get me to that high deadlift number is having good clean you know solid kinetic chain you know and really 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 just you know you know focusing on every single rep and the breathing and everything getting all that just totally dialed in that's what's going to get me to that next level and you know all it just takes patience so i'm, I'm getting after it i hope you're getting after it and you know Happy Monday.